Drum roll, please. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I don't know my material. Welcome to Fact or Fishy with the one and only Sea Harvest, where we'll be unpacking some frequently asked questions and myths with the help of an expert. It could be one, it could be ten. I don't know, but I do know my name. I am Devin, your captain, bringing you facts from the sea for you to see. Sustainability has become a hot topic in communities all around the globe. In this video, we explore what sustainability means when it comes to fishing, as well as how sea harvest is taking part. Overall, what does sustainability mean to you? In the comment section, let me know below, bro. What is sustainability in fishing and how is sea harvest taking part? The fishing industry feeds millions of people with billions of fish each year. With such high growing demands, what are we doing to guarantee that there will be fish in the ocean for the future? Let's chat to our experts. Wait, hold up. Before we check in with the experts, let's ask the public some easy general knowledge questions around fish. Come, let's go. Fact or fishy? Sea harvest. They catch fish off the coast of Botswana. I don't think there's a like sea in Botswana. No Oh, I don't think there's sea. Since when? Since to my knowledge, I think, and if I'm not mistaken. Look at you, then. Ah, you are there, you are there, you are there. You guys are eating a lot of fish, eh? False, because Botswana is landlocked. Everybody knows Sorry? that. Landlocked? Yes, Botswana is landlocked. It's Namibia, Botswana, and Mozambique in the corner. Zimbabwe, Botswana. Oh, look, you got the whole, <laughs> the whole map figured out. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact right there. Terence, well done, Terence. That's impossible. Yeah. Why? That's because Botswana is landlocked. No, we get away. You guys are taking my money. <laughs> Man, these answers. Nah, let's get back to studio. Joining us in studio, his name is Michael Maddett and he represents MSC. He is the Senior Program Manager for Africa, the Middle East and South Asia. And then also Madora Kumala, who is the Strategic Service Director for Sea Harvest. Welcome okay. to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Are you guys good? Very well, thank you. Lekker. Now, yeah, Michael, thanks. I'm going to jump straight into it. Like, what is sustainability? In very broad terms, it's refers to our ability to meet our current needs without compromising our ability to meet those needs in the future. So sustainability in fishing is very much about maintaining that population at a, a threshold above or at um, that minimum environmental threshold. But beyond that, it's, it's also about looking after the ecosystems that those fish depend on. For that to, to be considered fully sustainable, it, it tends to be a fairly multifaceted approach where a fishery needs to understand its impacts. For me, I just literally see a, f a fish on my plate. Uh, if I want a new one, I literally just go to the fish market. Uh, but why do we need to fish sustainably? I guess the first obvious answer is that we want fish to be available to us now, but we also want it to be available into the future. And we're looking at a, a growing human population. It's, it's more urgent than ever to make sure that we're looking after the resources that we do have now. There's also quite a, a sort of big impact that is also there when you fish sustainably in the terms of sustainable employment. The fishing sectors throughout the world, they actually contribute quite a lot from a socio-economic um, perspective with the employment as a sort of first foray into that, but then also secondary in terms of maintaining livelihoods. So I think it is, again, as Michael sort of touched on in your first question to him, it is quite multifaceted when you're looking at sustainability and the benefits of that. Now, as a consumer, you know, um, we have an important part to play in this as well. Is there anything that we can do at home to contribute sustainability in fishing, Michael? I mean, we at the MSC are, are very passionate about what we do in, in terms of trying to help people to recognize how they can shop, where they can buy the sustainable seafood from. The first thing I would say is, is to look out for our Blue Eco label on packaging. And that's an, an indication that it comes from a sustainable source, but that also it's been kept separate from non-certified fish Continue to read and learn and just really sensitize yourself to sustainability and the impacts that you have and pass that information on to your friends and family. 
A very important point. I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm just literally soaking up all the information. But now, a very good question I have for you. How do we know if a fish is uh, certified sustainable? So any fishery that has been MSC certified is entitled to market their product as MSC certified and they'll often do that by putting the, the MSC's eco label onto their packaging. You know when you have the blue tick you mean verified, you certified, you are the real deal. Now what does the MSC certification program entail and how is the standard helping our fishermen and the fish industry? Getting that blue tick, the blue label Michael refers to, is quite challenging and it's quite a rigorous process. Uh, what we do, at least as a company, and contribute overall to the fisheries um, certification is really to ensure that, I guess, number one, that we fish the stock sustainably. You know, as Michael pointed out in the beginning, it's quite important uh, for consumers to realize that it's a continuous process and a continuous improvement process in the sense that once you get certification and the tick, for that period, you've also got to maintain the high standards that you were given the certification under. With you guys, there's so much uh, uh, processes and uh, thought behind uh, what you guys do, so big respect for that. What sustainable practices does Sea Harvest currently have in place? I think naturally, obviously due to the sort of business we are, we'll always be marine-centric, ocean-centric and whatever practices that we would um, implement from a sustainability perspective. Prior to COVID, what we tried to do was sort of enter that foray of cleaning um, up beaches with um, formalized beach cleanups, where we sort of tried to then elaborate it further and have a bigger impact was really collaborating with um, a few people who were like-minded or organizations that were like-minded with us. You know, what we're able to do is that with um, an organization named EcoBrick, we were able to collect all of the waste from um, the water, but then also at the same time to be able to build structures from that waste. So I think that's sort of the starting point uh, for us. There's obviously things we want to do internally a bit more. So whatever um, plastic material that we would use in operations, we try limit that. Um, we have over the last year or two changed into more biodegradable materials. I think it's going to take a few years. Um, where we look at things in a general sense is that sustainability is less of a destination but more of a journey. It's always about learning. Um, and learning new mechanisms to get better and that's really what we're trying to achieve at Sea Harvest. I'm being fed so much knowledge, you know, from my perspective, I think, you know, okay, they're just taking fish, but now I'm learning that you guys are giving back, you're creating employment, uh, you know, you're literally preserving good quality fish for consumers out there. So well done to uh, Sea Harvest and well done to MSC. Guys, wow, today it's been a lesson. I'm joined by Michael Marriott and Madora Kumalo. Guys, thank you for being on the show today. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Devin. As they say, with great power comes great responsibility. In our growing world, let's be conscious about how we purchase and consume seafood. For more information on sustainability in our oceans, check out Sea Harvest's YouTube channel to learn more. But before you go, it's my favorite time. It's the time for Little Did You Know. Whoa, I did not know that. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and check out our Sea Harvest Hunger Games playlist. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't be like that, bro.